Goa Transport Minister Marvin Gudino has announced plans to set up electric vehicle charging points across the state. Despite some political opposition, Gudino affirmed the government's commitment to advance EV infrastructure and making Goa a leader in this field. When our emphasis is to shift to EV buses and even EV uh, four-wheelers and uh, two-wheelers, obviously we have to have charging stations everywhere. This meeting was uh, called precisely because of that. We definitely have a road map forward where we would be having more uh, uh, charging stations or EV charging stations uh, across the length and breadth of Goa. Now, how it is to be done, how quickly it can be done, how transparently it can be done, we, that is of concern and that's why this meeting has been conveyed. But as you know and you have mentioned to me earlier, uh, and I did give a clarification. It is surprising that when good things like IIT alumni coming forward for the first time through their CSR funding, offering to help Goa for by giving us uh, almost 700 crores for improving the transportation system in Goa, for giving us electrical buses, should we not appreciate and thank them? This is an initiative, a rare initiative taken by none other than uh, Puneet uh, Goel, who is our Chief Secretary, because he himself is an IITN because of his batchmate and the uh, friendship he enjoys. He is trying to do something for Goa. We should rather applaud him, compliment him. And the moment he spoke this particular thing to Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Brahma Savant, he pushed it very hard. When he mentioned it to me, I also pushed it very hard. So, these initiatives are to be appreciated. In fact, I want to further inform them a social impact fund contribution of 2,500 crores yeah. which is being given for Goa. That is, that is their commitment uh, for setting up global IIT alumni hub in Goa. They want to set up this hub only to do something awesome something which will impact the impact us socially in a very nice manner out of that since i was the transport minister i did mention only 700 crores but they are giving us 2500 crores so should not uh, the chief secretary and the chief minister be complimented for this should not our government be complimented for doing this and we have immediately moved and we have formed a special purpose vehicle for this purpose and uh, the whole thing is going to be done by them and in a very transparent manner they will only be giving the money thereafter once the money comes in the special purpose vehicle through a tendering process they will procure uh, the buses at the best possible prices there are going to be four directors from uh, uh, the iit alumni there are going to be four directors from uh, uh, the Goa government or the KTC whom the government uh, thinks fit. Chief Secretary is going to be the chairing that uh, particular uh, committee which is very uh, a very transparent thing. Instead of appreciating this government doing this, it has become a rare habit which was never there before with the opposition. Anything good also criticized, try to find some spec somewhere and try to build up on that narrative. This is something very wrong. This is bad for democracy or for the real functioning of the administration. It is demoralizing even the officers doing this uh, job. What will the IIT alumni people, office bearers who are in that particular committee feel when they are reaching out to us like uh, in a very uh, means uh, forthcoming manner to do something for our tiny state of Goa which otherwise has very limited resources. We should salute them. We should appreciate them, we should applaud them, instead we are criticizing them. What is it that the opposition gets by criticizing for sake of criticizing? Really I am not able to really understand or comprehend that uh, politics runs in that particular fashion. In a democracy, every, uh, while you are there to oppose what you feel perhaps is not right, I can understand. Somebody giving us something for free, something where you know transportation system has to be augmented. They are giving you the money and you are criticizing it. So this is not good for democracy.